If you have one of these Gigabyte GA-Z77X-UD5H motherboards and you're trying to update the BIOS, here's how you do it. Alright, first thing you'll want to do is Google your motherboard model number. Go to the Gigabyte website with that model. We're going to go to support. If your window's too small, you'll have this little down arrow instead. Click that and then go to support. Once it opens up, we're basically just going to go all the way down to BIOS here. So there's 10 or more. And depending what version your BIOS is on, you might need an older one first, but we'll see because sometimes they need you to upgrade in steps. We downloaded the latest one, F16J, so just click that, the little cloud next to it. Save that. I'm saving it to the desktop. Once it saves, we're going to right click the folder here. And from there, you want to extract all and then just click extract, right? You'll get this folder. It might open up automatically. You do need an external USB drive. I have my Windows installer thing that bypasses the Windows check stuff and just drag that into there. Either that. Um, what I did was I actually created a folder called Gigabyte and I dragged that into the folder. As you can see, I put an older version as well, although it's not that old, F14. We're going to try the 16J one first. We're going to restart the computer now and then we're going to press delete to get into the BIOS. Okay, so I'm just pressing delete while it's restarting and we should get into the BIOS soon. I'm going to show you guys when we get there. Oh, actually, it's going pretty quick, so we'll just keep pressing the delete key. Okay. And here we go. We should be getting into the BIOS now. Here we go. If you see this screen, you'll want to click Advanced. And then next, we're going to go to Q Flash over here. Click that. Enter Q Flash Utility. Yes. And then we're going to say Update BIOS from Drive. Okay, so click that. Oh, I guess we have to use Keyboard. Press Enter on that. And we have this Cruiser Fit. We'll press Enter on there. We have the EFI. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's go to the... Why is it showing up the Samsung? That's not it. Huh, it doesn't show the other partition that I want. I might need another drive because I think what it needs is it needs to be in FAT32 or FAT16. So give me a second, let me create one of those drives and I'll be back. All right, so I put the files on a uh, drive that was uh, formatted to FAT32. We'll go to Gigabyte now and let's try 16J. You can see it's reading the file. Okay. And it says, are you sure you want to update? Yes. So we'll let it run and we'll be back when it's done. Also, you can see the previous or current version is F6. Uh, so from 2012, pretty long time ago. All right, we'll be back. All right, finished. We're going to restart the computer and then we'll go back to the BIOS to make sure it updated. All right, and here you go. It's F16J. Hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one.